Hi guys, I'm here today with a quick walkthrough through my uh, 2017 Week in the Life album mini book. I'm not sure what this is. I did mine in a pocket page notebook and frankly I was insane to think I was going to be able to do 2016 and 2017 in one week, but um, I'm pretty pleased to have just gotten this done. There are no process videos for this album because I managed to get this done by sneaking in 5 and 10 minute lots basically whenever I could through the whole week. So I definitely did not have time this week to film process videos, but I thought I would just walk you through it and show you what I did. And I mean, if there's anything that you like super specifically want to see a video on, let me know and I can recreate it for you. So let's get started. So I had this album, it's like I said, a pocket page notebook from the Samp Spot. I had prepared, like I say, a 2016 album too. And I probably will go back through and fill this in, just not anytime soon. So I had just done a really simple stamping on the cover and a couple of strips of washi tape because I really did just want to keep this as simple as possible. Um, and as far as the contents of the album, I just printed my photos for each day. I kept it somewhat consistent, uh, as you'll see as we go through the album. And everything else I just picked out of my stash. I picked a few papers, washi tape, stamps, ink colours, and everything was just scattered all over here. In fact, I've got a photo I'll show you. That's how that's how it looked all week. I did have to clean up a couple of times because I couldn't actually find anything anymore. So I went back and did the title page, I guess, um, at the end. So it, I'd sort of run out of steam by this point. So it literally is as simple as it gets. Just some stamps and some stickers before I crack straight into Monday. Now all of my weeks have this full page photo. I just printed them on plain A4 printer paper because um, I didn't have any A4 photo paper to fit in the notebook. And everything else is just sort of three by four or little squares. So of course my first pocket, I had to um, find my fuse tool and then create this little sequin shakery pocket with my photos. I got far too carried away and did that all really quickly and realized I hadn't stamped anything. So I used some stays on ink and stamped just straight onto the page protector and that worked really well. Um, I used a few pieces um, of just 12 by 12 paper and these ones had wee quotes on them. I think it's by Crate Paper. So I just cut that out to make a strip and I have added a lot of stuff to the sides of my pages. Um, which, you know, as you can see, it makes it quite chunky, but I really love the look of stuff sticking out the side of the page. And then each day, I haven't done a lot of journaling, but I've just done a sort of little recap thing on my typewriter. It's all in different places through the album, um, but that's about the amount of journaling for each day. So I've just added a whole lot of little, um, like little phrase stickers, stamping, and then some of the pockets have got these full page pattern paper in them with my little recap square photos. This one was Easter Monday, of course, so I just stuck a wee um, bunny paper clip on there. And then Tuesday, I just stamped the title just again onto plain printer paper, typed out my journaling and got my full page photo. I used one of my border punches, which I haven't used for a really long time down the side. And then back to that there so you couldn't see the back of the paper. A few of the days I've done these sort of things because my, my days are a bit different now than how I'm used to. So it's interesting to see the, I guess, contradictions in them. So my work and play at the same, you know, in the same time period. This pocket just has, it's not a transparency, it's a piece of printed vellum. And so I've just stuck one 3x4 photo on one side and one on the other. And just added a few tiny embellishments and stamps. My recap square photos for the day, I trimmed them down even smaller. The size that I had printed them didn't fit down here, so I just trimmed the white border off them and stuck them down. And again, another one of these sort of three by four cards. Wednesday, same thing. So you'll see the pattern repeating here, you know, full page photo, some sort of title. Um, and this pocket I left clear. This was a odd sort of day, this one. So I just used some gold thread to stitch around and I kept the pocket clear by keeping the two photos the same. 
same size and again waiting and enjoying just stamped them with a couple of alpha stamps and my journaling for today is quite private so I've just hidden it behind the tag here which when the page is closed you end up with a wee cluster at the top and this is just some of that lace tape that the lovely Essie sent me <laughs> can't have a day without a lily photo and this time I didn't have four photos for that day I just had three but I think it just fits in nicely and so again I've just made a wee like mini layout I'm um, just on some pattern paper and all I've done is add a little bit of stickers some washi tape to tie it into the side and on the back of that is my stamping and journaling for Thursday this photo I just it wasn't very pretty colors it was a dark sort of gloomy kind of day um, hence the heater and the gray clouds outside so I just made the photo black and white to sort of represent that and just stitched a piece of ribbon down with my sewing machine there's the wee tab and then again another one of these sort of two photo layouts so I've got um, our cat Mel who really is trying desperately to escape this place um, and Lily who was trying not to sleep all day and again really simple embellishing I ended up putting some like wood veneer and this wee rubber piece in which did start to make the book quite fat but um, it's it's all right it made stamping a little bit difficult but I worked it out in the end really simple one on this side just a couple of stamps from Feed Your Craft and again another little mini layout like again they were too small or like too tall so I trimmed them down even smaller but then just put a piece of white paper behind them to back them um, again full page photo this time stickers rather than stamping and through each day I have kept it consistent I have put in um, this little label stamp from Kelly stamps and then my date stamp so I do have the dates in there Just a tiny wee photo and again it's hiding my journaling not because it's private but just because I liked um, just the two photos together without any journaling so I've just added that in underneath again another one of these contradictions um, so I've got my my planning and my playtime and my work which is still creating which is what I enjoy another sequin pocket and then the end of the day so the colors for my sequin pocket really were chosen for this photo but they work well with this one as well again my other little four photos this one is an inner pocket so I just stuck the wee mini layout onto the actual page and added just a tab here full page photo stickers my same label stamp and I did the same technique with the gold thread and just stitching a pocket into the clear pocket but this time I have put the journaling down and like directly underneath that is two photos so when it's flat you can't see the other photos so this page becomes its own layout and then once you flip it over this becomes its own layout as well so I really like how that worked out I was definitely running out of steam by this point so I've put my two photos and my four photos all on one spread but again this is the pocket so this page got um, some pattern paper and just tying it all together with the stickers last day we've got Sunday so again just repeating the same stamping and um, journaling full page photo and I just stuck on some little pom-pom trim another two page spread because it's you know Sunday chores and then our reward was a delicious brunch this day was full of those sorts of things so I added that again begin and end so that was the start and the end of the day and just some tiny tiny little stamps from Feature Craft on these four and I just added a wee paper clip because I was at the end at this point so it didn't matter how bulky it got I had run out of D's at this point so I just trimmed around the edge of it and I think it looks quite cool and that's it I haven't done a back page I don't think I'm going to I'm just going to end it there so if you've made it all the way to the end of this album well done and thank you I really enjoyed this project um, I wish I had had a bit more time to give it but um, I'm really pleased with this fat little album and the way it turned out
Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.